Hey guys, Tenor69046 here, and I'm back with another episode of the Forest Tutorial Let's Play. In the last episode, um, I showed you all how to build um, a wooden fence around your home that would protect the cannibals. In today's episode, we're going to improve the structure of this wooden wooden um, protection area, I guess. Um, so basically, you've got this wooden uh, defensive walls here, but that they're, they are not enough to um, uh, to protect you from cannibals. So if you get an Armsy or a Virginia to come to your house, they are going to smash right through these walls. And essentially, there's a few ways of protecting this. So, under custom building, we have a few options. We can go with rock wall. We can add defensive spikes or defensive wall. Any of these are going to help with our protection. And you can choose any one that you want. Just Each one's going to require a different set of materials, blah, blah, blah. Because we don't have bones and all that, I'm just going to go with um, a rock wall. And um, uh, the defensive spikes takes wood, and we've already gone over how you're supposed to do that. So, um, yeah, basically when you're doing this, you kind of want this to be in it, because if not, yeah, um, uh, it's um, uh, it's going to it's going to look very bad. All right, so I got to carefully. Yeah, so you left click the place like usual, and then it'll drag it out. And then you go to the end here, and let's see if how good we can place this good like that oh I messed up that's okay see now there's no space in between here so it doesn't look bad there you go yeah okay and then you shouldn't have placed it like I did but uh, you just go again I guess <laughs> take the rock wall Yeah, okay, that'll work. And then you just run it along. Ooh, um, don't block your door. <laughs> that was close. Okay, yep. Where's the door at? Right there. Uh-oh. Hopefully that doesn't block it. Looks like it will. Hmm. Give me my rocks back. Let's just do that again. Oof. Hmm. Oh well. Uh now let's do the other side and you can always delete these if you um uh, if you want to try and do it better so it, you don't have to get it perfect the first time so then we just do this Good enough. So now we need 377 rocks. <laughs> You're probably thinking, okay, that's um, uh, that's it's an interesting amount, Tanner. <laughs> um, so yeah, this episode, if you haven't figured it out, is essentially about gathering rocks. And the 
best way to do it. There, that'll work. It's whatever. Okay, so, um, when it comes to gathering rocks, you can hold a few in your inventory, but carrying back rocks in your inventory is, as you can imagine, going to wake take way too long so guess what you can take this log cart rock up to a rock up to a rock walk up to a rock ooh, a spider and you can put the rocks on the log cart so essentially we can gather multiple rocks at a time and that's going to um uh it's going to speed this up a little bit so all you can basically do for this is just walk around, pick up some rocks, kill a few lizards for armor, and just try and do this as quickly as possible. A few things to note about rock gathering is you can pick up five in your inventory. The log cart can hold, uh, I can't remember how many it can hold, but it's whatever. Um, you can pick up five in your inventory, then you're going to have to put them on the log cart. Uh, rocks are easier to gather at night time, because they shine during the night for some reason. I don't know why, I just know that they do. And, uh, they're also easier to collect in snow biomes, because there's not grass in the snow biomes, so they pop out a lot easier. This is going to give us full armor. Thanks, lizard. So sorry that had to happen to you, but hey, now we're fully protected. Uh, let's see. Yeah, here's the rock cart. So, um, we're not in a snow biome, but it will be easier to collect at nighttime. But since it's the only thing we're doing this episode, we're just going to go ahead and just collect the rocks. And this is going to take a while. So, um, I might want to do this off camera. I'm probably not going to time lapse this one just be due to the fact that this this is going to take a very very long time. But I'm um, uh yeah, I think that's all the basics of it. So uh yeah, you just there's not much of a trick to gathering rocks other than use your log cart. Um they do respawn often, so they're not like trees. They don't just disappear forever you um uh they respawn so you can get the rocks and that's basically the only way to do this is to just run around collecting rocks and placing them against your rock wall up here um this is a necessary step so i wouldn't recommend skipping it but i mean if you just want to try and see what no rock wall gets you then go ahead <laughs> Like I said, there are alternatives, but they will take just as long as gathering rock. And in my opinion, I think rocks look better. So yeah, let's see. There's not really a space here, is there? No, okay. So yeah. Um, I guess I'm going to cut out. I'm going to gather all the rocks for this thing. And then I'm going to cut back in and... We'll either end off the episode or do something else. I'll decide if we need to add spikes to our defenses or not. So yeah, um, be right back. Alrighty guys, I am back. And as you can see, the rock wall is completely finished. And once you put up these rock wall or fences or whatever, it's going to be exceptionally difficult for cannibals to break into this. Um, Armsy, Virginia, Calman, yeah, they 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 would get through it eventually. Regular cannibals, on the other hand, you got some time. So basically, um, there you go. Once you add this, it's really good. And in my opinion, I think the rock on top of the wood looks just spectacular in this game. So um, uh, you can also add uh. Where is it? You can add these. 
but they take um, 14 sticks and 21 rocks for each one. So, yeah, they're really good for defending. Those are probably the best for the defensive wall, but they take a lot. Um, defensive spikes, you can still add these. Once you finish with your um, uh, rock wall, you can add these, but they take nine logs each, and in my opinion, they don't even look that good, so I'm not going to use them. But you can use either of those if you really want to fortify your base. But, um, we're not going to do that. We're just going to stick to the looks. I'd recommend that you might want to add some spikes, especially if you're new to the game, because, honestly, you're probably going to have more difficulty defending your base than I am. But, overall, you really, as long as you got that, you should be fine. Um, a lot of people also would, um, uh, They'll sometimes do the inside of the base because it, it adds extra to it, but we're not going to do that either. Okay, so. Um, well, I'm surprised we never have any cannibals come from this way. But yeah, um, that's going to be it. Oh, yeah, one last thing. Um, you can carry 20 rocks at a time in this game. So you can carry 20 at a time, 5 in your inventory, 15 on the rock sled thing and so yeah it really didn't take me very long to do that um, I could have time lapsed it let me know in the comments below if you prefer time lapsing it or if you prefer just regular skip ahead kind of things because time lapse I'll I'll show me doing it all of it other than that I'm just gonna skip it it just it depends on what you all want I'll do whatever you all want it doesn't make any difference to me it's basically same editing time. So yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. We basically just covered rock gathering and we added the rock wall to our thing. Is that it? Yeah, I think so. Um, in the future, if we ever have any cannibals run through here, we can add a wall that just goes from there to there. Which wouldn't be too difficult. But yeah, I think that's going to do it for this episode. I hope you all learned something. Um, or at least hope it helps. Um, yeah, uh, if you have any comments or suggestions, need any help, just let me know. Um, like if you enjoyed, subscribe for more Forest Tutorials, and I'm gonna see you all in the next one. Bye!